and children. Today we will start with the chemistry class. Mm, so already we have completed. Solution lesson is also going to be over writing. Only uh, one or more topics has been left out. That also will be getting over by this week. We will start with the new lesson from Organic Chemistry Volume 2 as well as phenols and the so this is our first chapter which we are going to study alcohols, phenol and ethers ok so alcohols, phenols and ethers this is our chapter which we are going to see today so this is an organic chemistry see organic chemistry is a very very important branch of chemistry very very important branch of chemistry so it not only in case of the human being for the welfare of the human being but also industrial process pharmaceutical process pharmaceutical industry other industrial process various associated technologies have been based on this organic chemistry under the organic chemistry this alcohol phenols and ethyls are an important derivative important constituents of organic compounds so this alcohols phenols and ethers have been considered have been considered as important constituents important constituents or derivative of organic compounds or organic chemistry we are doing. okay so today we will start with alcohols so what is an alcohol so i just want to give you brief introduction about the alcohol one day in terms of chemistry i will tell you see already in your lower classes even in lines Open chain structure, formula of the series. Upper 
listen carefully how I am writing the reactions then only it will be easy for you to write you cannot memorize when you memorize and next chapter will be going for aldehydes then we have amines present then carboxylic acid present uh, haloalkanes have haloalkanes is your first chapter in organic chemistry that chapter is also there so you will you will it will get confused you cannot memorize so you see how i am writing the equations then when you understand of your own you can start writing the organic reaction it will become very easy for you okay now we will see the preparation of alcohols and first method of preparation from alkenes it can be prepared that is acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes second one is hydroboration oxidation reaction third one is reduction reaction so reduction reaction it can be reduced in the presence of aldehyde ketone carboxylic acids and esters and the fourth method of preparation is called as water the fourth method of preparation is from the non reaction what is the first first method of preparation from alkenes acid catalyzed the hydration of alkenes and hydroboration oxidation reaction then reduction reducing water aldehyde So now the first reaction is Why is it called as unsymmetrical? 
So ethene and then uh, hydrogen. So if I, a statement, mechanism for the statement book like the Uttar Bangla, the AS statement, the other way, the math of the other. Now, what is the statement is here is formation.
Then what is the third key term? Formation of carbon. Okay, yeah, the mono statement comes later. Right? Okay, step one. Shall I write the equation? So mechanism. So I'm taking alkene. What is that? Proteination of alkene. So alkene. Okay. So C is alkene means unsaturated hydrocarbon. C is double bond C, which is getting attached towards H hydrogen, 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 and then hydrogen. Alkene is taken. So now this alkene. Has to be additive. So protonation of alkenes occurs due to the electrophilic attack of hydronium ion. So hydronium ion is present. That is oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen hydrogen. This is hydronium and H three O plus ions. So here electron put or otherwise it can put plus also it can come over. So now electrophilic attack. So electrophilic attack. This hydrogen goes and attacks this carbon. And as a result, what is the product? First the hydrogen. This hydrogen will be getting attached towards the carbon. And next hydrogen. अब वो तो four hydrogen ले लेते हैं ना. One two hydrogen. One and two hydrogen. And this hydrogen is getting attached towards the carbon. That is hydrogen here. So automatically double bond will get three or reduced to the single bond. And then the carbon will get attached towards the carbon. Two hydrogen is present. So one hydrogen, another hydrogen. Think here. Double bond. I am going to explain to you. The single bond is formed due to the covalent nature. Sharing of these two electrons. If the one electron is bundled, one hydrogen bundles. No other electron is there. In the car, no one attaches to the other. There is no group. So that the electron can represent as yes, plus. So this is called as what the meaning as carbocation. This is called as what carbocation plus H two O one. This will be getting zero. So this is step one. So what is step one? Protonation of protonation means what? Addition of hydrogen. So protonation of alkenes occurs due to the electrophilic attack of this hydronium ion, leading to the formation of carbocation. This will be your step one. Now come to the step two. Now step two. Step two. You take or take the same carbocation. That is. Carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. Here also hydrogen. Bond to another carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. This is plus. This is called as what carbocation. Now this carbocation on treatment with that of the water, that is H two O. Now here what happens is nucleophilic attack. Here the nucleophilic attack occurs. So nucleophilic, nucleophilic attack occurs. So nucleophilic attack. And as a result, what is the product to be formed here? You see, the water molecule gets split as H bond O bond H in a mixed split pair. Clear? Now what is the product? See, carbon, hydrogen, 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 bond C, bond hydrogen, bond hydrogen. Carbocation will get this. If H two O C is formed by the bond O, bond H, bond H. Now this plus charge will come here. So now I have got the water substituted nucleophilic attack product. That is what I said. It's an intermediary product. So here what is happening? So here the nucleophilic attack of water molecule towards the carbocation. So here there is a second state pattern. There is no second state pattern. This what the what is happening here? The nucleophilic attack. Nucleophilic philic attack of nucleophilic attack of the water molecule towards carbocation takes place. Carbo cation takes place. Now coming to the last step, step three. So I'm writing here. Now step. Now we'll go to step three. What is this step three? So now we will take water. This product we just found in step two. In other words, product form is the carbon, bond hydrogen, bond hydrogen, bond hydrogen, bond C, bond hydrogen, bond hydrogen, bond O, bond H, bond H. 
again i am coming this i am combining this product i am combining this product with that of with that of water upper what will happen you see deprotonation takes place what's happening here step 3 la deprotonation deprotonation means what removal of proton so deprotonation occurs so when deprotonation occurs what happens ch3 this ch3 you know this ch3 i have written then this ch2 i have written then oh alcohol is the not what is the by product um, final reaction is the hcu plus ethyl ya adhe hcu kuda the hcu sinda h3o plus ion so far this not get now first step is protonation second step is eutrophilic attack to form the substrate then the third point is what is what deprotonation substrate and form of substrate next one is deprotonation is taken place so what is it alcohol and the overall mechanism the overall reaction H2 
and aldehyde that is CH3 CHO this is called as what acetaldehyde i am taking acetaldehyde i am taking what i am taking acetaldehyde this acetaldehyde on treatment with hydrogen in the presence of palladium has a cation now we are going to use either palladium platinum or nickel finally powder so i have taken this palladium has a cation if a hydrogen is this distribute to h1 h up over one of the hydrogen will get attached towards this carbon the other hydrogen will be getting attached towards this oxygen up what is the product ch3 a product ch hydrogen this hydrogen will be getting added so you will be getting ch2 then one more hydrogen is there that hydrogen will be getting added here so you will be getting alcohol to be formed so therefore the product so form this product is ethanol understand what i did again the share right the reaction in the reaction we are going to reduction of carbonyl compounds reduction of what reduction of carbonyl compounds so reduction of carbonyl compound so reduction of carbonyl compounds so what we are seeing now first i have taken what i have taken ch3 cho this is called as acetaldehyde on treatment with hydrogen in the presence of finely powdered platinum nickel palladium as a catalyst now this hydrogen will get split like this one of the hydrogen will be getting attached towards this carbon the other hydrogen will be getting towards attached towards this oxygen the product is ch3 ch2 we yeah, are ch Three elements: CH2, this hydrogen, CH2, then OH. So this is called as ethanol. One reaction. Primary alcohol formation. Now, same you take CH3, CH2, that is acetaldehyde on treatment with that of lithium, aluminium, hydride as a catalyst. After automatic acetaldehyde will be getting reduced into aldehyde CH3 CH2 OH and reduce up now coming to the third reaction now acetaldehyde badal and taking ketone CH3 CO CH3 function group is ketone ketone is the name of the compound is acetone acetone on treatment with the hydrogen in the presence of finely powdered nickel as a catalyst but what will happen now this hydrogen will get split like this and this hydrogen will be getting attached towards this carbon and this hydrogen will be getting attached towards this oxygen so what is the product now ch3 in the co is the h then o h then ch this is called as 1 2 3 1 2 3 ayya kanna chollirken number left to right kodukono right to left kodukono bar bar kodukono namma number kodukono and the number kodukono functional group in the carbon would attach and go on the carbon and alpha carbon will be falling up and alpha carbon would be least number that you know and right to left to right to left to right 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 இந்த எத்தனால் இது புரோபனால் இங்க 2 கார்பன் இங்க 3 கார்பன் انا மெயின் டிஃபரன்ஸ் என்னன்னா இந்த ஃபங்க்ஷனல் குரூப் அட்டாச் ஆகும் போது ஆல்ஃபா கார்பன பாரு இந்த ஃபங்க்ஷனல் குரூப் அட்டாச் பண்ணும் போது ஆல்ஃபா கார்பன் யூ जस्ट சீ அது கம்பேர் பண்ணி பார்த்தா இந்த ஆல்ஃபா கார்பன் அதாவது எத்தனால் இருக்கும் போது இந்த ஆல்ஃபா கார்பன் will have two hydrogen and one alkyl group இங்க செகண்ட் இந்த இடத்துல இருக்கும் போது இந்த செகண்ட் ஆல்கோஹால் இருக்கு இல்லையா இந்த ஒரு ஓஹ் இந்த கார்பன் இந்த கார்பன்ல இருக்கும் போது ஹைட்ரஜன் எத்தனை பண்ணா one CH3 group metal group pathina ready so inge ethana irukke so i am writing here CH3 CH2 OH next one is what CH3 CH OH CH3 so that is the formula okay what is the difference this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon so inge irukke alpha carbon la two hydrogen is present two hydrogen is present and one CH3 group is present Here you see 
in this alpha carbon only one hydrogen is oh is same kuda oh is the same kuda okay na idu or group functional group in the hydrogen is same only one hydrogen is present two ch3 group is present inge pare two hydrogen one ch3 one hydrogen two ch3 is present so if one hydrogen two ch3 is present then it is called as secondary alcohol two hydrogen one ch3 is present it is primary alcohol the difference of the other two is called so formation of secondary alcohol for example write the formation of secondary alcohol so we have to write it down so secondary alcohol is being the two propanol primary alcohol is the ethanol so secondary alcohol is formed by no ketone is the reduction by no it gives rise to the formation of two propanol and now we go to the next reaction that is fourth reaction to take carboxylic acid reduction of carboxylic acid we go for reduction of carboxylic acid so that is ch3 co oh on treatment with lithium aluminium hydride it gives the formation of ch3 ch2 o this is also called as ethanol okay so ch3 ch2 carboxylic acid on treatment with the of ethanol it gives the formation of yes so ch3 co o it gives the formation of water it gives the formation of ethanol and similarly next what we have is to take this ch3 ester alone and is ch3 co o h plus c2 h5 o h to be in the presence of h plus as a catalyzing reaction now see what is the product this o h and this h will be getting removed as water acidification the particle form so what is the preliminary reaction so ch3 coo c2 h5 c2 h5 this is called as this is called as ester the product form is called as what the product form is called as ester you take out this ester and then you treat it with basic medium okay? so we distinguish it with that of a basic medium now we can like it as the form what is the name of this compound this is called as acetic acid this is called as what acetic acid and this is called as what ethanol so acidification reaction so we are taking water uh, acetic acid that is ch3coh on treatment with what ethanol in the presence of acid acid is what expresses as acid then what happens hoh will be getting removed when hoh is getting removed then it gives rise to the formation of what it gives rise to the formation of ethanol it gives rise to the formation of ester so ester the now basic medium la hydrogen eduthu vechi i have to reduce so on reduction with that of the hydrogen appo na reduction panna appo sonna then it gives rise to the formation of ch3 ch2 oh plus c2 h5 oh or we can write it write it in a single formula that is alcohol that is ethanol ethanol is what ch3 co ch2 co oh so giving rise to the formation so motto apa anju reactions vandu edhila motto anju reactions vandu reduction of carbonic compounds so motto five reactions namu padikka therum already padikkoma edhila number reaction pannano we are reducing what we are reducing the carbonic compounds carbonic compounds reduction in the presence of what hydrogen and finally powdered palladium platinum or nickel as a catalyst or otherwise sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride and the first method is what reduction of what reduction of aldehyde so reduction of aldehyde i have taken the aldehyde that is succinaldehyde succinaldehyde or reduction of hydrogen in the presence of palladium as a catalyst finally powdered palladium as a catalyst it gives rise to the formation of ethanol second one again succinaldehyde in the presence of hydrogen as a catalyst platinum hydride or hydrogen in the presence of finally powdered platinum as a catalyst it gives rise to the formation of ethanol acetaldehyde in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride it gives rise to the formation of ethanol then acetone on hydrogenation in uh, hydrogenation the presence of highly powdered nickel it gives rise to the formation of secondary alcohol then acetic acid in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride it gives rise to the 
the formation of ethanol. Acetic acid and ethanol esterification in the presence of an acid medium, it gives rise to the formation of ester. Ester on further uh, addition of hydrogen, if that of the ester, it gives rise to the formation of ethanol. So, it is another third reaction. Now, coming to the fourth reaction, the fourth reaction is also very, very important reaction. Fourth reaction is from Brignard's reagent. Grignard's reagent. So, the Grignard's reagent. The formula for Grignard's reagent is CH3 Mg Br. This is called as methyl. Then, methyl total with the magnesium layer. Methyl, magnesium, Br is called as bromide. Methyl, magnesium, Starch from Brunot's reagent, it will be a carbonyl derivative that is CH3. Allah this is not happy, it will enter CH3 CH2. This is called as acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde on treatment with that of Brunot's reagent that is CH3 Mg Br. Brunot's reagent, it gives rise to the formation of you write the center C first. CH3. This CH3. What is left out? H2O is there. H2O is there. O is there. NGBR is there. O, N, G, B, R. Understood how I am under? It is an intermediate product. So, on the intermediate product, I am going to know it is a square bracket. Unstable compound. Okay. Again, the number of the daily garden. Listen carefully. How I am writing? Bookle deep in the bookle. So, neither you know. So, center carbon. So, center carbon I am writing here. First CH3 group. And the CH3 group, now I will write it. Then, next CH3 group. I have written here. The next CH3 group. Then, this hydrogen is present. Hydrogen. Inge na mona, inge na mona. Where are you wanting to fix? Then, OMGBR also. Remaining OMGBR. Now, it is an unstable compound. Now this unstable compound on further hydrolysis with water molecule. Upper this water molecule can be split as H bond to H. Upper what is the product you will get to see? What will be the product now? The product is CH3 bond CH CH, this OH, this CH3. By then, another more example, CH3 cuts out in the CH from this OH. Then, what is the remaining byproduct we have? Mg is there. In the CH3, we have to remove one. Clear? CH3 is going to be removed. CH3 is going to be removed. OH is going to be removed. This CH3 also will be affected. Remaining is this one and this one is remaining. H and O M G B R. So M G B R and writing here O H is not in the order. Here we want to know here now magnesium will you take magnesium two plus oxidation state atomic number two. So two A two. So after two electrons it can give. After one electron you have to put the B R minus the total. B R is one electron is needed. Then the electron will be one electron drop in O H minus two electron. Another MG group is the Vidamari photo of BR and OH. Data BR OH photo and we are substituting like this. Okay, so now we got what? Alcohol. What is alcohol? The other reaction is CH3CHOH. OH attached to the alcohol, alpha carbon, alpha carbon, the other hydrogen group, red CH3 group, and the second alcohol, the other reaction group. So it is a secondary alcohol that is isopropyl alcohol or otherwise 2 propanol. Otherwise, you can write this 2 propanol. Okay. 
Now we go to the next reaction. Other day, as per the name, you know. Now we will write for formaldehyde. What is the formula of formaldehyde? HCH. Same. If you remember the part, this is called as what formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. This is the word. So formaldehyde. 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 This is called as what? Grignard's reagent. What treatment will be done? The Grignard's reagent. So Grignard's reagent. What is the treatment? What will be the product? I have given you some number three. How you have to write? First, you have to write this center C. So center C you write first. Then what we have? This hydrogen. And then what we have? This hydrogen. And then what we have? This CH three. Then what we have? This O M G B R. That value here. O M G B R. Okay, it is an intermediate product. This on further hydrolysis with water. Now what I have to do? I have to hydrolyze with water. Water will be split as H1 O H. Like this, it will get split. Now what is the product now? CH3, CH2, then this O H. I have to write it up. CH3, here CH3, this CH2, and then this O H will be produced. Plus, what is the byproduct? Mg. Br O H, so Mg Br O H. This is the first step, and the second, and the third reaction. We will see now. That also we will see now. Third, the third reaction. So the third reaction is. टूटे असिटोन कीटोन देने से CO CH3 प्लस Mg सॉरी CH3 Mg Br तो व्हाट विल बी द प्रोडक्ट वी गेट द सेंटर C इन अदर नो फर्स्ट स्टेप तो राइट डाउन द सेंटर C वन CH3 दिस CH3 This CH3, this balance O MgBr, which is unstable now. This on further mixing it with the water, hydrolysis with water. Now, what will be the product? Long chain carbonate. Now, what we consider for now, 
long chain formula is 1, 2, 3 number of the way, again 1, 2, 3 number of the way, then as the functional group attached to the carbon carbon is towards the second carbon, the functional group has got attached. Totally how many carbon on the chain will be the linear structure will be 1, 2, 3, long chain carbon is 3, so therefore it becomes propane. Then second position is alcohol is present, so propane to all. At the second position is the methyl group has got attached, so therefore See the difference between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. And the more the more difference you see, primary alcohol in the NH means CH3, this classification of alcohols. CH3, CH2, OH. Secondary alcohol, what I am written? CH3, CH2, OH, CH3, I am written. Tertiary alcohols, what I am writing? That is CH3, held together, tertiary alcohol. CH3, thrice, C bond, OH. That is earlier. CH3, three times, C bond, OH, C bond, OH, that is the higher present. So CH3, CH2, OH, CH3, CH2, OH, CH3, 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 CH
What is the reduction? Reduction of carbonyl group, carbonyl compounds, carbonyl compounds. Correct. And the last one which we have studied is Grignard's reagent. From Grignard's reagent. From Grignard's reagent, we studied. Isn't it? There are four methods. But three more, four methods go. Now, reactions are going to be done here. You just follow. Fast, fast, let me write. So, we are going to go through the model and help you out. So, first of all, let's start with alkenes. So, second time, we are going to go through the model. That is why I am writing again. So, from alkenes. Alkenes are by acid. First method of preparation. Acid catalyzed. Hydration. of alkenes acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes under acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes we have to take the unsaturated hydrocarbon to double bond CH2 on treatment we cut off the water that is hydration in the presence of H plus what is hydration addition of water acid catalyzed H plus is an acid mineral acid Clear? H plus is a mineral acid. So, acid catalyzed hydration addition of water. They are going to be able to be. If it is a water molecule, it gets spread like this. H1 O5. Now, what is the product we will be getting? This hydrogen will get added here. And this O6 will be getting added here. So, what will be the product? That is CH3. CH2 with the H. So, CH2. Then CH2 with this O6 will be getting added. Mark of Bicox addition order. It obeys the mark of Bicox rule. A bit so. If I for this mechanism, one step mechanism, I have written for you. Again, I am telling you the mechanism. Listen carefully. So, mechanism is the first step. One. What we have to do? First, we have to take the unsaturated hydrocarbon. That is H H H. Mechanism for the very structure is formed. Now, molecular formula is the only other. If I put in a little name, I should have CH two double bond CH two. So, this is a structure. Carbon hydrogen structure over here. So CH2 double bond CH2 I written and this on treatment with H3O plus ion. In the H3O plus ion I put here the O bond H bond H and bond H. This is plus. Isn't it? Now I got the product to be formed. If I now react with this, then now I have to get the product. So this is what this is called as what this is called as ethene. This is called as what hydronium ion. This is called as hydrogen ion. Now what happens? Protonation takes place. This proton will be getting added towards this carbon, giving rise to the formation of carbon cation. So addition of proton is the first step. So what is the product to be formed? From the production of the product, we will know this carbon, this hydrogen, correct? This hydrogen. <coughs> then this hydrogen has got added to the carbon, which I am writing in here. Then single bond, in a bond break out there. Then this carbon, this two hydrogen, one hydrogen, another hydrogen. If I write here, here is one more. This is a covalent bond. Already we have studied. The covalent bond is formed due to the mutual sharing of two electrons. Apply the only electron is satisfied for that. In the hydrogen bond, in the electron is satisfied for that. It is not there. Apply only electron only the bond exists. Now we have apply this electron becomes plus. And the double bond will get. To form a single bond, you know, double bond line. In the one bond line, there are two electrons. One electron has been satisfied by this proton. Another electron has come to this carbon and forming carbon cation. This is called as carbon cation formation. Upon automatically double bond break, I can have no single bond. Upon this single bond, what is balance? What I have? What molecule has to be formed? H two O two H is there. So H two is there. O is there. O is there. What is it? This is step. Step one is what is the same thing? Step one is this is protonation step. Protonation. Here is the protonation I am going to to form carbocation. In general protonation, if the protonation has taken place due to the electrophilic attack, it happens due to this attack as well as what electrophilic attack. It happens due to the electrophilic attack. That's all. So this is step one. Now coming to step two. 
take of this product which we have found carbocation carbocation is h h h bond c bond h bond h <coughs> this is plus on treatment with that of the water this h2 on treatment with that of the water so up again new group will be added this is called as what nucleophilic attack and nucleophilic attack so what is the product we found the nucleophilic attack again c bond h h h then c bond h h same thing and they will have water now what happens this water will get split like this and this oxygen becomes plus over here in the water then a split for me h o o ne ledke plus that has come here electron break side ne ledke electron ko otherwise it will get plus okay so this is the intermediate big product for so nucleophilic attack and the product are there this is called as what this is nucleophilic attack nucleophilic attack by the water molecule on the carbocation yeah. so nucleophilic attack now the third step so coming to the third step what is this third step what is the product c bond h second step on the road the product and after you will be that is that is c bond h this is bond h bond o bond h and this is bond h second step plus water molecule so what will be the product This hydrogen will get clean. This is called as deprotonation. Protonation. This is called as what? Deprotonation. The deprotonation. Now, what is the product? CH3. This is CH3. CH2. Then this OH. Alpha carbon dioxide. Get along. Plus. This is H two O plus H H three O plus I O M I O O M. So this third step is called as the deprotonation. This is first reaction. After the first reaction, from alkenes I have taken for you. From alkenes I have taken for you. Then now coming to the second one. Hydroboration, oxidation. Again, I am writing the equation. Listen carefully. I am taking CH three, CH double bond CH two. Is it? This is called as one propene. I am mixing it with diborane. Diborane. What is the formula? BH three. Twice is called as diborane. This I am splitting and writing as H1 BH2, so this becomes diborane. So on treatment with that of a diborane, it gives rise to the formation of an added product. What will be the added product here to be formed? That is CH3 bond CH bond H bond CH2 bond BH2. Okay. So first product in carbon. Now coming to the second product. What will be the second product you see? Now treat it with CH3, CH double bond CH2. So what will be the product now you see? It is CH3, CH bond CH2. This also becomes CH2. It becomes twice. Then BH. Substitution of the party parent. Then again we have to treat it with CH3, CH double bond CH2. So what will be the product? CH3, CH2 bond CH2 thrice B. This is called as hydroboration or oxidation step. Oxidation step you see it has to be oxidized 
in the presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide followed by hydrogen peroxide so as a result it gave us the formation of ch3 ch2 ch2 oh this is called as one propanol one propanol plus byproduct boh thrice boh thrice to be getting produced so this is your second reaction so for second reaction hydroboration oxidation reaction also second and now we will last step third one reduction of carbonyl compounds are very very simple now the third one we will learn and again reduction of carbonyl compounds are carbonyl compounds are nothing but aldehyde ketones then in the carbonyl other carboxylic acid the ester what is you know ester esterification so we can reduce aldehydes ketones carboxylic acid and the ester in the presence of finely powdered nickel as a catalyst platinum as a catalyst or palladium as a catalyst we can so or otherwise the catalyst will be lithium aluminum hydride or otherwise sodium borohydride can be used as a catalyst so this is for the reduction and the grignard reaction na kuncha tough reaction again and the reaction na namu kelli manukondre so grignard reaction nare metal and grignard reaction Now listen to the Grignard's reagent. One of the nala puri one of the nala yellow one of the nala. So that's why I'm writing. So make it thorough with the reactions because it's very new for you. The seventh uh, how we have studied I don't know. Seventh of all the little reactions are now. So nala you have to thorough now. Okay. So from Grignard's reagent. Ketone, CH3, CO bond, CH3. This is called as 
acetone polymerase is called as ketone ketone on further treatment with ch3 mg b part it gave us the formation of intermediate product how we have tried intermediate product center c we have to take the center c the center c then this ch3 then this ch3 this ch3 then this o mg br this on further hydrolysis this on further hydrolysis with water h1 o h you will be getting ch3 thrice then this c to that c this o h will be getting attached plus mg this br then this o and h will be getting That's all. This is called as what? Tertiary butyl alcohol common name. Are you familiar with them? Then we have structure for what? Let me write down here. Two methyl, two propanol. Two methyl, two propanol. So this is about the preparation of aliphatic alcohols. So aliphatic alcohols are there. All preparations are there. I have written for you. So you have to make it thorough. See that you are writing in the classroom notes. Now we will go to the next topic. The next topic what we have is preparation of. You know, in the upper number here the reactions, chemical properties and then now the third reactions. It is now before we did it. So preparation of the third reactions, chemical properties of the third type, third type many reactions. So, and now now I can the reactions that we are doing the preparation. We can have a preparation. We just then we can go ahead with. chemical properties physical properties is here okay so now preparation of alcohols are go now we go to the next one that is the preparation of phenol so preparation of phenol will start with preparation of phenol okay here let me start preparation of phenol there is another one we copy padi mona preparation of phenol ella reactions me irundhalum mukla paadi reactions irukadhu so na ella reactions me namak ellai potirukke so here is So this is called as this structural formula. This is a molecular formula. 
Now, what is the name of this compound? This is called as chlorobenzene. This is called as what? Chlorobenzene. So, we have to take this chlorobenzene, and this chlorobenzene has to be treated with sodium hydroxide solution, and it has to be maintained at a temperature of about 623 Kelvin and 300 to 320 atmospheric pressure has to be maintained. So, when it is being maintained, under 300 to 320 degrees centigrade, 300 to 320 atmospheric pressure, 623 Kelvin with sodium hydroxide solution, which is the base. Now, this Na and Cl will be getting removed, and this OH will be getting added here. Yeah. And what is the product of C? OH. Cl removed under the OH is what substituted, plus Na, and then this Cl will be added. So, here. So I got phenol. So preparation of phenol. What is the formula of phenol? C6H5OH. That is benzene ring. C6H5 is the benzene ring. Report the OH is the number at one. At the benzene ring with OH, this is called as what? Phenol. First method of preparation is from phenol. Now coming to the second method of preparation from benzene sulfonic acid. So phenol can be prepared from benzene sulfonic acid. So from benzene sulfonic acid. For, for benzene sulfonic acid, it is, you have to take first, you have to take benzene. To take, to take this benzene. This is called as what? Benzene. A re, or otherwise you can call it as benzene. Benzene on treatment with H2S2O7. This is called as polium. This is called as what? Polium. H2H2O7 is called as what? Polium. On treatment with polium, then it gives rise to the formation of benzene SO3H. This is called as benzene sulfonic acid. This is called as what? Benzene So the product from this one is what? Benzene sulfonic acid. Take out this benzene sulfonic acid and it has to be hydrolyzed with the water, mixing it with the water in the presence of acidic medium, mixing it with a of water, then it gives rise to the formation of benzene with phenol, giving rise to the formation of phenol. Giving rise to the formation of what? Phenol. So this is benzene sulfonic acid. So benzene sulfonic acid is another phenol. We have to take what? We have to take benzene. This benzene has to be treated with that of water. The benzene has to be treated with that of polium. And it gives rise to the formation of benzene sulfonic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid in the presence of acidic medium, in the presence of base or water, it deionizes. It gives rise to the formation of phenol. This is the second step. Now coming to the third reaction. Third reaction is a very really important reaction. That is um, benzene diazonium chloride. Can be prepared from benzene diazonium chloride. So from benzene diazonium chloride. Let's see now. From benzene diazonium chloride. Third one is from benzene diazonium So benzene diazonium chloride. So for to prepare benzene diazonium chloride, I have to take anilin C6H5 NH2. This is called as anilin. Anilin. Now this anilin, anilin on treatment with sodium nitrite with Hydrochloric, diluted form, hydrochloric acid, it gives rise to the formation of benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, so it gives rise to the formation of what? benzene diazonium chloride. Now, this benzene diazonium chloride on further treatment with that of hydrolysis, further hydrolysis with that of either water. Or otherwise a base, with the base, then it gives rise to the formation of 
water or with the base kuda namu mix pannom appadina what will happen the water is going to reach point oh na alle nacl ev oh irukona ev oh will be there so now h point oh is got split now what happens this cl and h will be getting removed and this nitrogen also will be getting removed and this oh will be getting added here so what is the product now benzene enna add ayirukku benzene, benzene oda n2 has got removed as nitrogen n double bond n nitrogen of hydrogen then nitrogen points when the cl in the cl and the h will be hydrogen gas and the oh so the balance in the benzene ring with this oh group and all that this is called as what phenol this is called as phenol so formation of phenol okay from benzene diazonium chloride and the last method of preparation we have the last method of preparation is from cumin so from cumin that is also important reaction the cumin reaction so fourth one is from cumin so what is the formula of cumin formula of cumin is with benzene CH non CH3 twice this is called as what cumin so this is called as what cumin on addition with oxygen on addition with that of what on addition with that of the oxygen it give us the formation of cumin hydroperoxide empty cumin hydroperoxide formula in that are benzene C H in red color, C O O H in the green. Red oxygen added here, the C H three twice. In the presence of acid medium, hydrochloric acid, or otherwise acidic medium, this benzene ring and this O H will be getting formed. Benzene ring with O H. This is called as phenol. What is the byproduct? C H three. CH3CO again one more CH3 that's CH3 here this is called as acetone this is called as acetone so phenol and acetone that's all so totally how many reactions in case of preparation of phenol again we will write preparation of phenol and from alloenes benzene sulfonic acid alloenes are chlorobenzene have taken halogen halogens halogens are chlorine and the alkenes are benzene ring that is C6H5 array do array is a C6H6 array is a C6H5 CL and C6H6 so the comment part of the right hand will be getting substituted so we will be getting C6H5 CL that is benzene with the CL benzene with CL sodium hydroxide and we have to maintain a temperature of about 623 Kelvin and 300 to 320 atmospheric pressure then this NA and CL will be getting removed as a byproduct and benzene with the OH so then phenol will be getting produced then second method of preparation is from benzene sulfonic acid we have to take benzene benzene on treatment with the oleum it gives us the formation of benzene sulfonic acid benzene sulfonic acid in the presence of acidic medium with water that is on further uh, uh, hydrolysis acidification hydrolysis for now we know it gives us the formation of phenol then benzene diazonium chloride is prepared for now so for that we have to take aniline aniline on treatment with sodium nitrite NaO2 is nitrite sodium nitrite with hydrochloric acid benzene Diazonium chloride. So benzene diazonium chloride on further hydrolysis with that of water or sodium hydroxide will give rise to the formation of phenol plus nitrogen plus hydrochloric acid. Then the fourth method of preparation is cumin. So cumin on oxidation will give rise to the formation of cumin hydroxide. Cumin hydroxide on further acidification will give rise to the formation of phenol plus acetone. That's all. So today we have started with alcohols, phenols, and ether lesson. So from alcohols, we have studied the preparation. Four different methods of preparation. There are no any method. The tables are not much more preparation. First method is what from alkenes. That is acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes. And what is the second method of preparation? Second method of preparation is by uh, hydroboration oxidation. And third method is by uh, reduction of carbonyl derivative. And fourth one is from a green north reagent next what we have studied preparation of phenol phenol order preparation la alloenes and number prepare pannu second method is by from benzene sulfonic acid third one is benzene diazonium chloride and fourth one is from cumin so preparation of alcohols and phenols are over in the next class we'll start with chemical properties finally we'll go to the 
physical properties and then nomenclature with that lesson will be getting over okay so take down all the reactions all the reactions shall be taken in your fair motor thank you